Well, I think the thing about that is that it's always different. The, pro the process is always different. Sometimes the process happens in 20 minutes. Sometimes the process happens in three years. And sometimes you get half of this song and you mix it with half of this song and all of a sudden you've got a song. Uh, for me though as well, to sort of finish a song, I feel like being emotionally involved. If you're just writing a song for whatever, it's hard to sort of finish it because you don't care about it. You don't care about what you're singing about. But when you do care about it, it's a lot easier to finish the song because you've got more passion. You, you're believing in um, what you're saying. They're not empty words. That's, that's why I love Bob Dylan. Well, I think being positive is always important because in a world like today, there's always going to be so many different things happening that I don't fully understand. But the thing that you can control is your own sort of emotions and your own outlook. So being positive about everything that's going on, if everyone can sort of take that opportunity and control their own emotions, be positive, act with love, um, less with fear and all that through, through this crisis, uh, I think that's, that's the best thing to control. Well, I've been very fortunate because I have followed my dreams most of my life, ex um, except when I used to whip a snip um, for the council, but I got into a little bit of a verbal argument and that was the great incentive for me to stop whippersnipping and doing what I love, which means getting out of bed and being excited for it or, or being keen, because if you weren't doing what you love, life would be more boring and you know, we're only around for 80, 90 years, I don't know, something like that. So uh, it's definitely worth just doing what you love. I love Trevor Hall. I really love Trevor Hall. I like just a lot of different songs from a, diff, uh, a lot of different artists. They don't have to be big, they, they, a lot of time they're small artists. It's just people, and often it's just one song and you hear that and you go, oh, that's amazing. Uh, but Trevor Hall's been my go-to, yeah. I've heard that you guys have had uh, Casey Barnes and Jacob Lee, so I'm gonna say those two guys. Driving into cities, in my van, uh, that's the biggest thing that happens the most. Getting, parking in cities, anything to do with getting in the city and a lot of people, and a lot of people rushing and racing and being aggressive and angry and all this sort of stuff. So that is the positive about the pandemic, I've seen less of that, uh, but that overwhelms me on a regular basis. <laughs> well, let's just say a beer. We won't go into detail. Other musicians, people, uh, conversations with people who are on your wavelength, who have a great conversation with you, because often having a good conversation with someone sparks an idea in your head where you go, huh, I'm going to write about that. And you don't know it at the time, but maybe a few hours later you go, we were just talking about that, maybe I should write about that. And then you grab that, and then you write a song. So people are inspiring. Hmm. There's probably a lot of things. Uh, can I think about this for a quick minute? Hmm. Uh, I'm exceptionally bad at thinking of answers for this question. <laughs> a lot of the stuff I'm doing right now I'm pretty happy with, is, which is playing music, going surfing, hanging out with my friends, family, all this sort of stuff. So already I'm pretty happy with a lot that's going on, but if I were to ask for more, it would be owning or having my own place. Somewhere where I have my own little nest, you know, somewhere to chill unconditionally. Uh, and just continuing doing the music, but building on the music, just moving forward. But otherwise, 
at this current time, I'm, I'm pretty fulfilled with doing this music. Well, despite the obvious things like fear and people having toilet paper rage, uh, we've, also got <laughs> we've also got people spending more time with their family. The, the life's pressures for some, a lot of people, oh, I can't speak for everyone, but where I happen to live, it, it, you know, we're getting the opportunity, some of us, to spend more time with our family um, and be at home and have time to smell the roses. So it's, for the fortunate people like myself, it is a really nice time for once ever that we get to sort of stop and sort of reevaluate and go, hmm, what's going on? And then once all this is over, it could be like a clean slate where we all sort of start again. Things are gonna be different. I don't know what's gonna change, but if we all sort of like go, hmm, you know, let's look out for each other. We're all facing the same issues here. Um, you know, maybe the world could be a better place. I don't know who it would be individually, but I know what it would be. And it'd be someone who's like racing these hectic, great cars, like a race car driver. So any race car driver, Nine million people die of starvation every year. Oh, both. Oh, it'd be some female actress that I can't remember her name. It'd be tacos because I would like to eat tacos more often. I'm pretty sure it was John Mayer, The Continuum. And I do not regret that choice. That was a great first album. That would have been in Woodford when I was about 13, 14. And it was when I saw Kim Churchill play and uh, the feeling that I had was like goosebumps. Prior to hearing that, it was all about Just a Fender Strat blues trio. That was all I, all I cared about. But when I saw Kim Churchill play it, it was like the kick drum, the harmonica just echoing, wailing through like thousands of people. The kick drum just like, just energizing the whole venue. And it, <laughs> it was just such a good time. His vibe was so, he had a positive vibe, you know? And it was just a goosebump moment that I was just in it. Everyone was loving it. And uh, that was the first most memorable. Definitely Home and Away, because they play my music. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, Home and Away, it is totally you. Who are they? Are they people? It'll be my family. So this is a song I wrote about uh, the concept of believing in whatever you choose to believe in because I think the more uh, you focus on what you believe, the more it'll happen. So it's about putting your creative energy into whatever department you want to. The more you put into that department, the more you'll get back. Remember to believe Doubts are fatal and your mind is in control The captain of your ship Master of your fate So what do you believe? As the mind turns Useless ways to think We'll be rising Far beyond From where we just came from Oh, I Stepping from the comfort zone It only taught me to be shy Shy in what to think I'm Shy in this fake dream I'm Shy of living free
as the mind Her these useless ways to We'll be rising far beyond where we just came from Can you feel it running inside you In your dream and know as if it's beside you You will taste it if you can be patient The more you believe, the more you create it We'll be rising when you horizon A place of freedom defined by your reason Taking the power yours to claim the more you believe the more you create as the mind elites it's useless ways to be we'll be right